Hello, so it's the end of November and we just had a bit of snow as you might see behind me and I just thought I'd come out and give you a quick tour of the container garden, how it's getting on. Here it is and uh, oh, I'll show you these little violas first. Uh, aren't they amazing? Here they are, Look, it's snowy and they're still producing their little flowers and uh, these are edible so you can actually pick these and put these in a a winter salad. I don't do that very often because I like looking at them but just every now and again it's nice to pick them as a special treat. Uh, in this box here these are some uh, kale plants and these should really be much bigger than this at this time of year. I just after planting them they were in this container there were also some nasturtiums and the nasturtiums started growing so well they basically overwhelmed the, the, the idea was they both grew together but the nasturtiums grew so well they rather took over um, and they look so beautiful I didn't really want to pull them out uh, but it does mean these kales have suffered. I'm leaving them because I'm hoping that when the, hoping they'll survive the winter and when the spring comes they'll put on some good growth. Uh, this is spinach here which is obviously looking quite snowy now but isn't doing too badly. This is lamb's lettuce also known as mache sometimes. This is a very hardy uh, leaf, quite mild flavoured uh, but it's one of the ones which does really well for me here. Um, this space that I'm in, uh, this front yard, it's north facing, uh, actually quite a difficult place to grow in winter because the number of hours of light are obviously significantly reduced and particularly the amount of sun that gets on here. So you know I can grow something and I do get something to eat you know, once or twice a week I pop out here, but like whereas in the summer I'm eating like a lot of our food, we're eating food from here every day and quite a lot of it. Uh, it is just really the occasional pickings in winter. Uh, this is, uh, but it's nice to have plants growing and uh, it's also, they do taste really good when they've been growing through the cold weather. Uh, this is some chard, bright light chard with different colours. It always looks quite cheerful at this time of year we have down here we have some more salad some uh, rocket or arugula some more lambs lettuce in there probably a bit dark in this spot down here not doing so well the rhubarb has obviously completely died back and that will be one of the first things that will come up next year uh, this is mint have been picking that actually until very recently and you know, it looks like it might survive this frost so we might still get a bit more but it will be on its way out now some more spinach down here again hopefully that will grow a lot more when the spring comes some more lamb's lettuce there and uh, i've got a few herbs and things on the back here this is uh, a three-cornered leek it's called and this is really nice this grows really well through the winter apparently it's very invasive so you don't want to plant it in the ground but in containers uh, it's fine and it has a nice sort of onion flavour and I'll be picking that uh, all winter I hope some more chard there and the spring onions not really growing now but they're still uh, still still there and I can still pick uh, and eat them and some of these containers the empty ones I've actually planted some tulips so the idea is that in the spring uh, we'll get some nice pretty flowers which will cheer us uh, all up. So I think that's about it now. Not masses to show you but um, oh there are some pea shoots over here. So yeah pea shoots are remarkably hard. You can't really sow them from scratch at this time of year uh, outside but if you if they're growing they will survive and sometimes you know it is actually possible to sow them inside let them germinate and then on a you know if you have a period of weather when it's not too cold move them outside and it is possible still to, to grow them and they do taste, it is very nice being able to come and pick pea shoots at this time of year and that's some parsley looking a bit sorry for itself but still alive and uh, pickable and yeah I think that's probably about all I have to, to, to show you uh, today but how a growing space is to grow in winter does really vary a lot depending on how much light it gets, how much wind it gets and obviously whereabouts in the world you are. When I lived in London 
uh, the days in this time of year are quite a lot longer and it's quite a lot warmer and just just small differences make a big difference often to growing so just even like another 45 minutes of lighter day and one or two degrees warmer can make a big difference to how things actually grow so I don't find this the easiest space to grow in at this time of year but it, as I said before it is really nice just to have a few plants uh, to, to eat. So that's it for today do let me know if you're growing anything in your containers this winter do do let me know in the comments uh, it's always interesting because we all have small spaces and sometimes there's a limit to what you can learn on your own so it's always really interesting to learn from others uh, wherever you're growing in the world it's always interesting to learn what you're growing in your containers now thank you bye bye